Hi guys, you're very welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing like a very quick kind of makeup look. This is kind of a look that I would go to every day. And I know I've done one of these videos before, but I think my makeup keeps changing and I keep getting better, hopefully, at my makeup. And so I like to update these videos all the time. I am sorry that I have not put out a video in the last three weeks. My granddad passed away and he was kind of like a dad to me. Um, he was the only kind of male figure who stayed in my life from kind of since I was born. And so, um, yeah, it's been really, really sad. My family's been mourning. And I just haven't felt like putting up videos. I did go up and see Hurry Up in Belfast. Um, and I suppose people might say that I'm trying to escape what's going on or, you know, trying to run away, but I'm not. I just needed some time. We celebrated Halloween and we went to the awards show together and that was really nice. It just really took my mind off things. And yeah, I mean, now I'm back in Cork and stuff and I'm hanging with my family and it's been nice and we're just, you know, we're all just trying to get through this. Sorry to bring down the mood of the video. Let's just get to the makeup look. So I've already primed my face using this Nivea Soft Moisturizer. It's a moisturizer for face, body and hands, but I really like it on my face. Um, I think it really smoothens out everything and makes everything really nice. And then I use this Lasting fin Finish Primer by Rimmel London. And usually the first step I do is I take my eyelash curler and I curl my eyelashes. Next I'm going to take my foundation. I am wearing um, Estee Lauder's Double Wear in the shade Tawny. So it's 3W1 Tawny. One thing I'll say about it though is I don't, it doesn't give me like a full coverage kind of look, if you know what I'm saying. And I like the full coverage kind of, you know, that girl's wearing a lot of makeup look. And that's just me and my preference. But I'm just gonna dab this around my face. using my beauty blender. Then I'm gonna go in with Collections um, Lasting Perfection Concealer. It's in the shade Cool Medium 2. And I'm just gonna use this underneath my eyes. And as you can see, I've done my upper lip as well because being a trans girl, I tend to get um, stubble regrowth. I suppose and so I just feel like this kind of covers it up a, a, a bit more than just the foundation would. So now it's all about blending and I just use my damp beauty blender to blend all the foundation and press it all into my skin. Now that that's all blended in, I'm just going to wait about four or five minutes, let it all sink into my skin, and then I'm going to bake myself with some translucent powder. So I'll be right back. So now that I've left about four or five minutes, I'm going to go in with my Flormar loose powder. I'm going to take my beauty blender and just dip that into the powder like so. And what I'm going to do is just pat it underneath my eye. taking some more and just doing up by my forehead and just getting little places that really kind of get shiny throughout the day and just really trying to work that powder into my skin. So now I'm just going to wait another couple of minutes and I'm going to brush it all off using my powder brush. Next, I'm going to take my Gosh Contour and Strobe Kit, which is new. So I'm just going to blend up the two contour colours at the end of the palette here. So 
So now I'm going to take the shadow brush and just go into the lighter contour color. And I'm just going to work down my nose and contour my nose. Now I'm going to take MUA's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter and a little brush. Just going to put that in my Cupid's bow. Around the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna stop about here and then just do the tip as well I'm gonna take my fan brush and pick up a bit and just do my cheeks as well now I'm just gonna use this all brush to brush up my brows Usually I would use a spoolie, but mine broke and I just haven't been bothered to go and get another one. So now I'm going to take L'Oreal Paris's um, Paradise Pomade for my eyebrows. And I picked this up recently. The brush is already manky. I don't really know if I'm into it. It just got real, it just got real like bitty. And uh, I like how it goes on and I like I like how you apply it and stuff. I like the whole idea of it. I just don't like how messed up it got like inside and stuff. And the brush. Like obviously I know I haven't cleaned it from the last time I used it. But like it's just not. You know I would prefer it to be more together. Where it's quite bitty you know and I don't like that. Next, I'm going to move on to my lips. I'm going to take my Barry M um, Pose Lip Liner and I'm just going to line my lips and I will overdraw them because that is what I do with my lips. I like to pretend like I have big luscious lips. So this is the shade of lipstick that I will be filling my lips in with. It is from L'Oreal and I really really like it. I love the colour. It's kind of like a nudie pink colour. So I'm going to take Gosh's Velvet Touch Lipstick. This is in the shade 134 Darling. It's a very very light nude colour. And I'm just going to use that on the inside here and just up here too. And that's my lips done. So for my eyes today I will be going in with my Morphe palette. Obsessed. I will be taking my favorite favorite transitional shade which is this one. It's nearly gone. I'm just going to put that all up here towards my brow. Now I'm going to go in with this kind of mauve tone. Is it mauve? Mauve, mauve, magenta. I'm going to just put that on my crease. Now I'm going to go in with a dark purple. Probably this one. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes just so I don't look kind of sick. Last but not least, I'm going to take up some of the black, tap it off, and just dab that into the quite very, very corner of my eyes, like here and here. And then just blend, blend, blend that all out. I'm 
take my highlighter again and just take my brush and just get the inner corner of my eye. So last but not least, I'm going to move on to my lashes and I watch Tati who is on YouTube and I really like her. I really enjoy her makeup videos and she swears by Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. So I went away and I bought it and I actually, I love it so much. Like it's one of the best mascaras I've ever used and I'm just so happy that she kind of recommended that because I am obsessed. how nice my lashes look and that is after one coat of the lash paradise by l'oreal so then what i'm going to do is go in with this old floor mar and i'm just going to do my bottoms because it's got a very nice wand as you can see so i'm just gonna make sure all my bottoms are all nice and spread out And to finish it all off, I'm going to use this Pro Studio Fixing Spray from Freedom. And hopefully that will set my makeup. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos too. And until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. Wishing you a fabulous and safe day.